Hi, welcome back to Detailing World. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a brand new wax from a brand new company called Luma. So Luma are a brand new company and they are launching today and they're starting off with a brand new wax called Hue 90. This is like nothing I've read or heard of before. It's got some unique characteristics and we'll just read the blurb on the back of the pot before we go ahead and test this. So on the back of the pot then, it says Hue 90 is a carnauba based wax infused with tungsten carbide materials blended with the purest nanophosphors. This wax will shift the colour of your vehicle's paintwork by 90 degrees on the colour wheel. The shift is powered by the sun in a similar way to that of the indicators on your watch. So yeah, it says in there it's got nanophosphors. I think it's phosphorants that they're using the glow in the dark stuff. And I think that's uh, one of the key ingredients in here. So yeah, we'll just take a quick look at that. It smells quite nice, that. It smells quite tropical and it's uh, yellow looking, I suppose, similar to the glow in the dark stuff. So yeah, apparently then this shifts the colour of your car by 90 degrees on the colour wheel. I think it's like 45 degrees either side. So if you've got a red car, it's gonna shift sort of towards yellow and maybe towards the purple side. And if you've got a blue car, it's probably gonna go say towards purple and maybe towards cyan, you know, a bit greener. So yeah, you get the idea. I'll put a uh, colour wheel up here as well, just showing you, you know, how the colour you're expected to shift. One thing Luma have mentioned to us though, this really won't work on very, very dark colour cars, particularly black, because essentially there is no colour there to shift and also white cars again the same kind of thing is just far too bright reflects every color back so yeah the brightest car so obviously i'm going to test this out on the nissan being a bright red i've got a blue bonnet in here we'll see how that gets on because it's quite dark so yeah we'll quickly apply this and see how it looks okay then so now we've grabbed focus there then i'm just going to apply the wax here i'm not going to do too much talking on this bit i'm applying the wax just like any other wax uh, overlapping motions leave it for a few minutes and then we'll just buff that off in a moment we'll just take a look at the end results So here we go then, hopefully you can just make out the yellow there in the highlights and a bit of sort of pinky purple in the shadows as well and this shot really does show it across the bonnet quite well. And then this one again you can just see along the lower half of the car, sort of pinky purple. If you just look along the top of the doors around the door handle, you can see it a little bit yellow where the sunlight is bouncing off it as well. So yeah, amazing effect that you get from this wax here. And then quickly just applying it to the test bonnet as well, see how it affects blue paintwork and in different lighting conditions as well. So it's difficult to make out, but you can see it sort of goes a bit purplish in the shadows. And if you look around the spotlight in a moment, it goes a bit of a lighter shade of blue. A bit harder to tell, I think it works better in natural sunlight. Okay, then so back inside the garage then, I've applied the wax all over the car and also onto the test bonnet as well. Just see how it affects different colors and in different lighting conditions as well. Obviously, this is gonna have the best effect out in the natural sunlight because, well, that's where cars live. So first impressions then, it goes on very, very well, very, very smooth, almost light button with this Max Shine uh, applicator pad, really nice to apply and comes off very easy as well with a nice uh, plush microfiber. So I'm not sure if you could see the color changing as I was buffing it off. It does say that you have to allow at least five minutes for the uh, wax to cure basically, not to let it bake on. Pretty much the application is like most waxes in that sense. Um, as I said earlier as well, it's got four to six months durability. And if you ever want to remove it, you can use an IPA or they will be releasing a product called Reset just to strip that wax off if the color change effect isn't for you guys. So as I say, then they recommend that this works best then on bright colored cars of so something like the red Nissan, um, maybe like the green Focus RS color, and the yellow AMG that I'm using in the Dodo Juice series, bright colored cars like that. They're probably the ones that are gonna see the biggest kind of shift. The darker the car, the more subtle the shift. And same with the light colored cars, it's gonna be quite a subtle shift. As I said, it moves about 45 degrees each way on the color wheel as well. So um, funnily enough, the label, yeah, you can see color wheel. So you can pretty much get an idea where the car is gonna sit. 
So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video then. If you have, please make sure to smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, please do consider subscribing as well. We've just hit the 10,000 mark and I'd like to get us up to 100,000 as soon as we can really. Also check us out on Instagram, we're on there as Detailing World Official. If you want to see all the behind the scenes, I'm on there as Randomly Set. So yes, we'll see you in the next video. So for those who are wondering if this product is legit or not, all I'll say is just check the published date of this video and we'll see you next time.